Right, uh, good evening. Let's do the final six lines of the excerpts from this poem by Ovid. As you will remember, uh, he's, uh, he's called out for the race to be restarted because the, the one that the charioteer that his girl is supporting is, is losing, is being a bit hopeless. And what do you know? They do uh, restart the race. So here we begin with the restart. So just to summarise what happens here, um, I'll just point roughly at what's going on, then go through it in more detail. And now the, the race is restarted, the gates are opened again, and all the, the horses and chariots charge out. Okay, that's the first two lines. And now he's, he's shouting again instructions to the, the, the favoured charioteer. He's, he's uh, telling him to win and to push into the open space. And here in line 30, he really hopes that his and his mistress's wishes are fulfilled. That's a bit of a, a sly joke for later, because you think at that point that his wishes and his and the girl's wishes are the same thing, but in fact they're not, as you may have suspected and as we'll come on to see. So, in line 31, um, he says, Whoopee, uh, my girl's wishes have come true, but mine haven't yet. Right? And then he confirms that by saying, he, that's the charioteer, holds the palm, he's got the winning prize, but my winning prize has still got to be sought. And that's obviously to get the girl. And as we saw in the overall thing at the very end of the poem, um, Ovid or somebody or the narrator says, she smiled with her eyes and uh, basically they agreed to go off and uh, leave him to get his prize in, in some other fashion somewhere else. Uh, or so he's fantasizing, we're not sure. But anyway, that's where we are. Let's go through it in detail. So, and now, Yamque, that's easy. And now, um, lie open. And the subject of that is the, the postes, the, the gates. So, so now and now the gates again lie open and that's an ablative absolute which we can discuss at some point. If you see it's ablative that's a perfect passive participle so with the um, starting gate having been reopened or unlocked. Okay so and now again the gates are open after the, uh, the starting gate has been unlocked or with the starting gate unlocked. And the discolor agmen, the uh, multicolored, um, differently colored um, crowd, it says here, sort of column of chariots, flies out right at the start of the sentence, very emphatic, or the start of the line, flies out, um, admissis equis, another phrase in the ablative with a noun and a perfect passive participle, with the horses released. So, and the multicolored, um, group, crowd, flies out with the horses released. Now at least, he's now talking to the charioteer, overcome, win, and quet, push into, move into the open space. Patenti again, that word meaning being open, the open space. Move into the open space, win, and move into the open space. Now, fac here is a command, the imperative of facio, make it happen and Normally, you have the word ut after it, which means make it happen that. But because he's so excited, he's missed that out here. So, may it happen that my um, wota, my wishes, sint rata. You see how the words are all jumbled up here because he's so excited. Are, are come true, are confirmed. Um, yeah, are confirmed. So, bring it about that my wishes are confirmed, and bring it about that the wishes of my mistress are confirmed as well. That's the literal meaning. In the word order, as you hear it, it's kind of may my and may my mistresses bring it about that be confirmed wishes. Okay, a bit jumbled up, but I hope you can see that. And now picking up the same kind of words in a similar kind of order here, cleverly, um, sun, so sint, which is a kind of may happen, a kind of subjunctively idealized wish form, becomes the straightforward indicative um, are. Okay, so my uh, my mistress's wishes are confirmed, i.e., the charities won the race. My wishes, maya wota, super sunt, are left over, are still there. Okay, um, are still alive, it says down here. He, that's the charioteer, holds the palm, the palm of victory, the prize. Uh, my prize is the pretender. It's a funny form of the verb um, 
to win here, or to be sought. My palm is still to be won. Okay, is to be won. My palm, my prize, is to be won. There you go, over and out.